What's going on everybody? Mike here with I Smell. Hope this video is finding everyone well, that y'all are smelling good and feeling great. So with summer as well as inflation officially upon us, I felt it only appropriate to pull some of my more cost-effective fragrances from my shelf. What I have for y'all today are five fragrances which I deem to be budget bangers, bargain bangers, whatever you call them. At the end of the day, if you want to smell great without breaking the bank, these are fragrances that should undoubtedly be on your radar for this summer. I do also want to let y'all know that I am going to be giving away a free 5 milliliter decant of one of these fragrances, any one of your choosing. What you need to do is stick around until the end of the review, that way you can find out how to be entered. Having said that, let's get into it. We have quite a few fragrances to get through in this video. I'll see y'all on the other side of the intro. Okay, so the first fragrance I want to talk about today is quite literally one of my favorite blue fragrances of all time, which is kind of crazy considering this one is only going to set you back around $35. It's a fragrance that I enjoy so much actually that I just purchased a backup bottle which speaks volumes considering personally I'm not the type to buy backup bottles. Fragrance number one comes from the house of Rojas. The name of this fragrance is Rojas Loam. So this one is starting to catch a bit of a wave within the community. More and more reviewers are now starting to talk about it, which I could not be more pleased about. It's a fragrance that I have been really high on now for some time. It just so happens to be one of the first fragrances that I did a full and in-depth review of on my channel. If anyone is interested in checking that out, I will leave a marker somewhere right there. Rochas Loam is a juicy blue fragrance with green fougere tendencies. The best way I know how to describe it is to imagine a less juvenile version of Dolce & Gabbana K EDP. I say that with a fair amount of confidence because I have compared those two. I did a comparison video. Again, if anyone is interested in checking that out, I will leave a marker up there. It is safe to say I am very high on this fragrance. This is an amazing blue fragrance. What you get with Rochas Loam is a combination of juicy pineapple and blood oranges playing off of each other. The mid is going to contain basil as well as geranium and then it's going to sit on a base of dark patchouli as well as sweet tonka bean. If you are a lover of the blue genre, if you love blue fragrances, this one hands down without a doubt 100% is a fragrance that you should at the very least get your nose on and sniff. There's a reason why so many people are talking about this fragrance right now. It's because it's an amazing fragrance. If you want to smell great without breaking the bank, definitely check this one out. At the number one spot, Rojas Loam. Okay, so fragrance number two is one that Bowtie Fragrance Guy put me onto. This is a fragrance that I wear all year, but for the sake of showing y'all some budget bangers for the summer, this one definitely fits the bill. Fragrance number two comes from the house of Lacoste. The name of this fragrance is Lacoste Loam. So for right around the $30 to $40 price point, you are going to be getting a fragrance with a bit more going on in terms of its complexity versus many of the other fragrances of a similar price bracket. This one certainly outcompetes many of the rack store fragrances that you are going to encounter out in the wild. If you enjoy the sweet, warm, ambery dry down of Dolce & Gabbana, the one, I am fairly certain you're gonna enjoy Lacoste loam as well. By no means are they exactly the same, but the overall demeanor of how they wear are similar. It would not be redundant to own both. In terms of how this smells, you are going to be getting some citrusy sweet orange mixed with sweet and sour rhubarb. This is going to be in conjunction with some zesty ginger and the base is going to contain some smooth almond which comes across almost like vanilla. It's never too cloying and then you have that sweet warm ambery dry down which I just compared to Dolce and Gabbana. The one it also does share some similarities to YSL. Loam. This one right here is a pleasant, mass appealing, super likable fragrance that a lot of people are going to enjoy. I personally do gravitate towards this one fresh out of the shower. I'm a type of person that sprays my clothes and I can confirm that I get at least seven or eight hours worth of longevity because I catch wafts in the morning. I say that because if you were to go on Fragrantica, they would lead you to believe that this has trash 
performance, but I would just take Fragrantica with a grain of salt because I can confirm right now 100% not shilling that this one here, I catch wafts of it the next morning when I spray it on my clothes. If you want a smooth fragrance with a bit of sophistication with a high likability factor, this is definitely one worth getting your nose on. You're gonna smell great without breaking the bank. At the number two spot from Lacoste, we have Lacoste Loam. So if you wanna smell like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino on a budget and at a fraction of the cost, this one right here is going to be right up your alley. Some of y'all already know where I'm going with this one. Fragrance number three comes from Ferrari. That's right, it's coming from a car manufacturer. The name of this one goes by Ferrari Bright Neroli. So big shout out to Chad over at A Gentleman's Journey because he's the one that put a good majority of us on this fragrance. This one right here is again going to put you in a very similar realm as Tom Ford Neroli Portofino and I say that with quite a bit of confidence because I have already done a video where I compare the two as is the case with the other fragrances that I talked about. I will leave a marker up there. That way you can properly be informed on how close they are to each other. This is not an overly complex scent profile. In fact, it is quite simplistic in how it expresses itself. As the name would imply, bright Neroli, what you're gonna get is bright citruses up top being blended with floral Neroli and then green facets playing around in the background. What you get, the result of that is going to be a fresh and clean floral fragrance with a sunny uplifting demeanor geared towards outdoor use. In terms of its price and availability, that's where it gets kind of sketchy. Vendors may or may not carry it. You just got to look and be on the hunt for it. But if this is a fragrance that you are interested in, just know that you can purchase a tester for right around the $50 price point. Personally, I would just pay the extra coin for the cap because it does take the presentation to a whole nother level. It is worth noting that Neroli is not my favorite note of all time, but when I am in the mood for a Neroli dominant base scent profile, I am always happy to have Ferrari Bright Neroli in my collection. Definitely a fragrance that's gonna have you smelling great without breaking the bank. At the number three spot from Ferrari, we have Ferrari Bright Neroli. Okay, so the fourth fragrance I wanna talk about today is going to be one of the lesser talked about flankers within this very popular line. It just so happens to be one of the cheapest entry points to experience this particular DNA. Fragrance number four comes from the house of Giorgio Armani. The name of this fragrance is Armani Code Colonia. In a nutshell, Armani Code Colonia is a fresh, but also slightly sweet, super designery fragrance with a touch of class, which is gonna set itself apart from many of the other fragrances in a similar price bracket. I state super designery because it literally smells like it belongs behind a Macy's fragrance counter. This just so happens to be another fragrance which I did do a full and in-depth review of. I will leave a marker right there. And I do these in-depth reviews that way when I do these lists, if you want more information, you can always refer to the more in-depth reviews. Basically, this fragrance smells like fresh citrus citruses over a bed of mild floral orange blossom and it's going to sit on a backbone and a base of sweet tonka as well as woody and broxen. That woody and broxen is coming in the form of amber woods. The sweet tonka is going to be very reminiscent to the original code DNA. I can smell it in the air and it smells amazing. For right around the $50 price point, you are going to be getting a fragrance that can be pulled off in a casual scenario just as easily as it can be pulled off in a business casual scenario as well. Definitely a fragrance that's going to have you smelling great without breaking the bank. At the number four spot from the house of Giorgio Armani, we have Armani Code Colonia. Okay, so last but not least is an iconic scent profile that needs no introduction. Having said that, I'm still giving it an introduction. This one just so happens to be one of my favorite dumb reaches for the summer. It's a quintessential, in my honest opinion. Fragrance number five comes from the house of Versace. The name of this one is Versace Man O Fresh. So what I like about Versace Mano Fresh is that it's a great daily driver type fragrance that works excellent for the high heat. What you get with Versace Mano Fresh is essentially a sweet and sour, but also slightly salty, citrusy summer scent. It smells amazing. This is a very pleasant fragrance. 
What you get on this fragrance is sweet and sour citrus notes primarily in the form of star fruit. It's going to have a slightly salty aquatic vibe throughout the middle and then the base is going to contain some herbal spiciness as well as kind of a generic woody backbone but this is a very likable fragrance. I'll even go as far to say that this is one of my most complimented summer fragrances in my entire collection. This one right here has a high likability factor. It's extremely pleasant and it's easy to pull off. There's a reason why this is one of the most replicated scent profiles of all time. For right around the $50 price point, you are going to be getting one of the more iconic scent profiles to have ever been created for warm weather. Definitely a fragrance that I deem to be a quintessential. I don't know what else to say about a fragrance that everything else has been said about it already, other than to get your nose on it if you haven't already. This is a fragrance that I get quite a bit of use for during the summer months. It's one of my main reaches for the gym. It's an amazing fragrance, a fragrance that's going to have you smelling great without breaking the bank. Last but not least, at the number five spot, we have Versace Man O Fresh. All right, you guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me. Those are five bargain bangers, budget bangers, whatever you wanna call them. At the end of the day, they're gonna have you smelling great without breaking the bank. If you enjoy fragrance-related content, if you found value in this video specifically, I am going to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. It takes like two seconds, you guys. It's literally free dollars. It costs you nothing. Listen, if you wanna be entered into the giveaway, two things. First, make sure you're subscribed. I will be checking that. Secondly, leave a comment. Let me know which fragrance you want me to send you a five milliliter decan of and hashtag I smell. I will be checking all of that and I will be picking a winner here in the next couple weeks. We have a ton of exciting content coming down the pipe, so make sure you stay tuned. Until next time, you guys, y'all take care. Stay safe. Bye.